everybody! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming! We are playing more Contradiction, and we're trying to catch people in contradictions here. Uh, so we just found uh, a screwdriver uh, here in this box, and we took that. We also saw the pile of bottles, which is also like an interesting clue. Uh, but I'm going to return to Woods Lane now. We're going to keep investigating and looking for... Uh, any clues that can lead us to her death. So let's see. Go left into Eden Lodge. We're right here. Right or here? Mm, shit. I want to go right. Let's go in here. I think there's like something we're supposed to find. Yeah. I had a good feeling about that. Always nice to randomly find a key on the floor. Okay. Cool. Well, we found a key. Uh, so... Where should we go now? Should we go back and question them more about that stuff? Let's go back to where her body was found. Look at that! I didn't notice this before. Sneaky piece of jewelry there. Stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. Oh, oh, the screwdriver! Screwdriver! Okay, how do we use it? Oh my gosh. Well, that was easy. Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Wow, that's really pretty. I like that. <laughs> Uh, okay, so there's nothing else here because there's no more question, I mean, a uh, question mark. Uh, what do you guys call that? Spyglass? Uh, magnifying glass. Uh, so let's now, wow, look at that, it's so cute. I think we should go ask everybody about this stuff now because we have a lot of evidence now to ask about. Uh, should we knock for Emma or knock for Simon? A couple more questions if that's okay. Uh, Thank you. Probably be back probably later. I meant to do Emma first. All right. Uh, let's ask her about the necklace or Ever whatever seen this is. This. It's so cute. Like, uh, that's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So oh. Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. Why would she steal it from a friend? It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Oh. When did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer. <laughs> Not so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. Wait, so it did belong to Kate? I'm confused. Well, it's a really pretty necklace, though. Uh, alright. So now we can ask her about all the other new stuff. Who's is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. Uh, okay. Uh, it isn't worth asking Emma about the screwdriver. Okay. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I I don't know. Okay. Strange. You should know. Uh, I guess that's it. I guess we'll go visit that's Simon. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Right. You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because Wait. I asked her about it, it one night when we were all out drinking in college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. Wait, what? Did he... Didn't he say he only knew her three months? Uh. Okay, so was the necklace Emma's or Kate's? I'm really confused. Um, I guess ask about the other stuff. Which was the bike outside? 
Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. Wait, so you're saying it's his bike? That seems like another contradiction. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farnhouse. I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. It's weird that he stopped making homebrew right after Kate died, considering Kate was an alcoholic. It kind of makes me wonder if he was trying to keep her drunk. Hmm. All right. So let's ask about that. Ah. Aha. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um... Hmm. No, no. What's he <laughs> hiding? I don't like this. Oh. I didn't know we were being timed. So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. Let's go to the pub. Oh, it's open now! Weird windows. Sorry, what can I get you? Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Come through. Thank you. Aw. Well, she looks really nervous. Holy shit. She doesn't have What's that freedom necklace. There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student? Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, yes? I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. Okay. Uh, let's ask about... Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. You could tell she had problems. When was the last time you saw her? Friday. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. £20? Mm. Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walk out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. Okay. That's a lot of money. Have you seen this before? <clears throat> no, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? No idea. Hmm. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. Hmm. I think that's all we can ask Be about. Be back later on, if that's okay. Uh, what's to the left? Nothing to investigate. Looks homey. All right, I guess that's that. This is interesting. Uh, okay. Let's go behind the pub now. What's in that bag? Hmm. 
It's like a break room? Smoke area? A broken window. Recently smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. I have a feeling they want us to ask about that. Is that what she meant by the breakage? She was paying for? Maybe she broke the window and not just a cup. What is the outbuilding? Hmm. Oh, we got a key. Will that work? Uh oh, should we be doing this? Ah, are we breaking and entering right now? What could it be? So far, nothing. Oh. Atlas. At the pub? What the hell? Is it a cold? I wonder whose mask this is. Rebecca's or Ryan's? Uh, are we investigating a cult now? Just looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. Oh, we don't have. Maybe we'll find a flashlight. All right. Well, that's that. Uh, let's get that contradiction about the window while we're still here. I want to get that out of the way. Ding. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Who would ever hear that bell? Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. What? Go on. Well, masks allow you to play at being someone different for a while. That's the symbol of like the goddess and Wiccan, I think. So this would be for a student. I think that one's Ryan's, but. Students do wear them, yes. Uh, this place sounds weird. <laughs> uh, okay, broken pub window. How did the window get broken out round the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about Ooh. half past six. I taped it must over have been Kate. until I can get it fixed. We don't want people. Who is she fighting with? Suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? No, not really. I'm quite strict when it comes to boring clients. I don't think are um, suitable. Hmm. I don't know about her. She seems really up to something. Let's see. Doesn't know who broke the window. And then... Gave 20 pounds for breakage. Knew it! Uh -huh. So, you said Kate gave you £20 for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. Could mm. have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Not realizing Kate mm. had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. Unless she did. But why would she lie about that? Yeah. Alright. Well, I guess we're done here for now. We asked her about everything. We need to ask, who is it? Simon about the mask? Yeah, Simon. Uh, so let's go... I don't really know what we need on this side yet. We're right here. So that's not it. We're right here. It's over here. Then maybe we will find a. No, not that. Yet. Huh. Clearing. Oh no, that's where we were. Ah! So we go left, we go to. The lake where she's found, right, we go towards Atlas. Have we been Atlas yet? Hmm, just open, huh? I still think this is a cult. 
And I think that Kate was a sacrifice. <laughs> that's my that's my bet right now. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. That must be his office. Ryan's office is in the lounge. Ryan's here. All right, let's talk to Ryan. He's not here? Okay. I guess we'll just leave. There's nobody home. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, shit. Where should we go? Feeling lost again. The tree rustling sound sounds so cool. the other one. Oh! Who dat? Who is it? I'm a police officer. Detective Inspector Jenks. It's alright, you can carry on if you want to. Let's oh. just go in. I'm investigating a, a death in the village, Kate Vine. Who does are not illegal, right? There was a death recently Hello. in the... I knew her. Well, could I ask you a few questions, please? A bit dark. What? Well, if you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. Where do you live? Bird house. And what's your name? Did you say birdhouse? <sighs> okay. Anything called birdhouse? Public house. I don't know. Alright, well next time on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, I'm gonna find out where he is and we'll go and we'll meet him there and we'll question him more. Uh, cause this guy seems like he's hiding something considering he wants to run away from us. Uh, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss the next episode and I'll see you guys all then. Bye everybody! <laughs>